What's up everybody, it's Jason Cruz here once again with another episode of The Legal Submission. And in today's Legal Submission, we have a bit of news for you in the Lee Antitrust Lawsuit. The parties have agreed to a settlement of $375 million uh, today on September 26, 2024 in a Securities and Exchange Commission filing by TTO Group. The parties announced an agreement to settle all claims asserted in the Lee case for an aggregate amount of $375 million payable in installments over an agreed upon period of time by the company. Big uh, asterisk here is that it is subject to approval by Judge Bulware. The court has yet to hear or have yet to schedule the uh, the the status conference to determine whether or not the settlement is fair and adequate. Now, uh, just yesterday we posted a uh, review of the initial status conference for the $335 million uh, for both cases in, in Lee and Johnson. And now we get the news here that the parties have agreed to a $375 million uh, uh, settlement in just the Lee case. So that that would mean to us that the Lee case uh, uh, is getting more money. Uh, as we saw uh, the, the percentage in the original settlement of 335 million was 75% Lee, 25% Johnson, and then it actually even grew to 90-10, I believe. And now we see uh, 375 million going specifically to the Lee class of individuals. Uh, the Johnson case is still up in the air as far as what will become of it, whether or not there will be a uh, uh, a, a trial or or whatnot. Now, of course, the, the settlement is subject to the terms uh, uh, is subject to Judge Bulwell's approval to determine whether it is going to be fair and adequate for the individuals. <clears throat> it definitely is a, a good move that, the, that Zufa has come up in, in uh, attempting to settle the case. Uh, I'm not sure what it, it says about the Johnson class of individuals. Uh, it, uh, I, I think that now we see a strategy of the plaintiffs attempting to try to settle the case just to get uh, uh, get the case uh, case um, settled and money toward their clients. It's clear that Zufa is going to try to elongate the litigation no matter what, and uh, seeing this settlement, Lee, uh, Lee, uh, at least the Lee plaintiffs will be obtaining uh, much needed money for whatever that may be. For the, the for the plaintiffs, as far as whether it's fair and adequate, we don't know the rundowns and, and breakdowns of how that this is. Uh, what we do know is that the parties had been working together, regardless of the trial date being being initialized uh, for February. That they've been trying to still attempt to settle the case, so it it it, it is a definite help for the these 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 plaintiffs. Uh, however, if we are to believe still that Judge Bulwer granted the Lee case based upon the initial estimations of eight hundred eleven million dollars and uh, eight hundred eleven million dollars to up to a billion dollars based upon the projections by plaintiffs experts, this still does seem like a small amount to settle upon. Uh, we will see how much uh, persuasion this new settlement does. It may mean that that uh, Judge Bulwer comes and says this is this is a good start, but they may need to settle. They may need to uh, provide more uh, financial relief for the for the uh, plaintiffs. It's just, it's it's a very sticky situation simply because. Certainly, there's a number that Zufa will walk away and just litigate the case, regardless of the potential risks. They do not want to have to pay anything close to the eight hundred and eleven million, eight hundred million dollars that 
uh, that uh, the plaintiff's expert had estimated. And, and of course, there is the option of appealing uh, all these cases that are hanging over uh, the parties right now. Because definitely, if they have to litigate the case, there is, in the back of the mind, a known, uh, a known factor that uh, appeal, regardless of award, would be uh, occurring. So that's it for, for, for right now. We'll continue on to uh, discuss the, the settlement at this, at, uh, as we get more information and look at it. Uh, once again, this is Jason Cruz with Legal Submission. Have a good day.